What's going on, Cowboy fans? We're back again with a brand new video. This time, I want to talk about the shape of what's going on with the roster. Now, in the draft, I really like what we did. Um, I got to sit on it a couple days. I wasn't a fan of uh, LB uh, Leighton Vander Esch, calling by his name now, as a first round pick. But looking back on it, you know, we definitely needed a linebacker. I think uh, maybe we reached, I think we could have traded back and got him in like 25 26. Possibly picked up a second rounder, maybe even a, another third. And possibly use that to get uh, Earl Thomas, but like I said, I have a ton of faith in Xavier Woods, Kayvon Frazier, and Jeff Heath as our safeties. Um, all three of those guys, I expect to play a ton this year in terms of our safety play. Um, but looking at this draft, I really like what we did. You know, we hit we hit places of need. Uh, we needed a linebacker. Now, from what I've seen, he's he was probably the number two rated linebacker, number three rated linebacker, which is fine. You know, we needed that. You know, I, I don't expect us to play a lot of uh, base defense, but, you know, rotating him, Jalen, and Sean Lee, keeping those guys fresh throughout a game. And especially one of the biggest things that they did in this offseason was bringing in Chris Richard to, to kind of handle the back seven, um, you know, which is the linebackers and, and the DBs. So, you know, bringing him in to coach up that back seven. And uh, Van Der Esch's skills and coverage are, are terrific. Uh, I was watching a lot of his highlights, and he's really good in coverage. He's really good at reading the ball. Now, from some things that I've heard, is that he didn't really come from a, a typical football background. He played a lot of seven on seven. So, um, being able to play seven on seven means you have more freedom to go. There's no blockers getting in front of you. So he's going to be a little bit of a liability, I would say, early on in running downs. But as he gets used to the NFL game, I, I expect him to um, to pick up some strength and be able to take on blockers. In round two, we picked up Connor Williams, who is going to play guard for us, and this guy is a physical monster, it looks like. Uh, I'm very excited to see what he does. He's going to be sitting right there at left guard. I think we have probably one of the most athletic <laughs> offensive lines in the NFL. You have Travis Frederick right there at center, Zach Martin at right guard. Lyle and Tyron. Tyron's probably the best left tackle in the game. Lyle really finished the season off real strong last year at right tackle. We don't really have a swinging door there at left guard anymore. Jonathan Cooper was super slow, but we get an immediate upgrade with Connor Williams. Um, so I think that's huge. In uh, in round three, um, we picked up. Damn, who did we pick up in round three? We picked up Michael Gallup. I'm a big fan of what I saw from him. I think he has the potential to be the Z receiver. I think we need to find an X receiver. Um, I definitely think he will leapfrog Terrence Williams during the regular season, but. I think going to this Dak friendly offense is going to be a lot of spreading the ball around. There's not going to be a guy that, that dominates and targets, I would say, which I think will make Dak feel a little bit more better. I think the big thing here is kind of going to something with more of a strength. I kind of agree, though, that going to the Dak friendly will help him because I feel like this offense has been Romo friendly still. Um, I love me some Tony Romo, that's my guy. But. And all of, all the characteristics of a Romo friendly. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot more read options, a lot more inside zones, RPOs. You know, I I would not be surprised. You know, this off season, this offense has gotten a lot more. I would say, um, quicker. You know, with the addition of Tate on Austin. You know, you have and he's going to be playing just like a scat back receiver com combo guy, like Lance Dunbar did for us in 2015. I wouldn't be surprised to see this guy finish with 30 catches, um, handful of touchdowns. He's, he he can run, and and if he gets the chance to run behind this offensive line for, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll be a third down scat back. So if he gets a chance to run the ball behind the offensive line out on jet sweeps and end arounds, straight ahead, use his quickness and speed, his agility to get outside, could be a, he'll be he'll be the explosive guy of this offense. Um, but yeah, in round four, I picked up Doris Armstrong, another. Um, huge need there. Not really a need on the defensive line, but it's a good pickup in terms of depth. I think our defensive line is very, very talented right now. It might be the best, mm, second best unit on the team behind the offensive line. Um, third best unit is going to be those defensive backs. Um, Jason Wynn did retire, so that kind of left the hole at tight end, but Jason Wynn has, you know, lost some steps. He wasn't really picking up any, any yards after catch, and I think, you know, bringing in Dalton Schultz, another guy that we drafted, was huge. He played in a run first offense, so he has the blocking, the run blocking skill. Not really used much in the passing game, but I think you know he'll be able to get that rapport with Dak going, and I, and I think that will be huge because you know tight ends are the safety net. 
Um, but yeah, round five, you know, picked up a linebacker, another linebacker. I think this guy's going to take the Kyle Wilbur, Kyle Wilbur role. Um, so that'll be big. Round six, we traded a six rounder to for Tavon Austin, and then you know, there's just from there, it's just you know, getting more holes still. And I really, I think our best pick, honestly, might be Bo Scarborough in the seventh round. Our best late round pick is Bo Scarborough in the seventh round. That was a huge pickup. You get another bruiser. Imagine having to tackle Zeke, um, you know, 20, 20 plus times in a game. Um, you get Rod Smith for five carries. And don't forget Rod Smith. Rod Smith, you know, is one of my favorite Cowboys. Um, he should get five five to seven carries a game. Um, and I definitely think Bo Scarborough will get five to seven carries a game. So I, I would not be surprised if we're running the ball 30, 40 times a game, even at 35 minutes of clock here. Um, I think that's going to be huge because that's going to get back to what we what we need. Time of possession, eating, eating clock, keeping our defense fresh for later in the game. I think our defense is going to be elite this year, honestly. I think the only thing we need is a one-tech, and I know they're talking to Terrell McClain. Terrell, Terrell McClain had some of his best seasons with the Cowboys before he went and joined the Redskins, where he was playing out of position as a 3-4 end. He gets to come here, come back, come back home, where he was balling for us, come back and be our nose tackle, because he can rush the passer. As long as he stays healthy, he can rush the passer and he can stop the run. That frees up guys like David Irby to Marcus Lawrence. We're expecting Randy Gregory back because he he's applying for resin, uh, reinstation, re, reinstatement. Malik Collins, you can move Malik Collins between the three tech and the one tech, one tech now. Just and ta you got Taco. Taco finished the season off real strong. I, I you know the whole year under Rod Marinelli will help. As we know, pass rushers take about three years to fully develop. Um, so that'd be great. Hopefully we get to see some Charles Taffer this year. I really hope because I have high hopes for him. So um, can't forget Tyrone Crawford. You can move him inside, outside. I just think this defensive line is just great depth. Probably the second best defensive line in our own division. Eagles obviously too deep everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm very. I'm actually pretty excited for this season. I think we have a great chance to do some things. Um, this is a huge year for Dak though. So in terms of our back four corners and safeties, I think we're real. We're real cut and dry, simple, good, ready to go. I can see us kind of coming in and being like Seattle was when they had their great runs, you know. I think Xavier Woods needs to play free safety for us. Rotate Jeff Heath and Kayvon Frazier at strong safety. Got Byron on the outside. You got Cheeto on the outside. You got Jordan Lewis in the slot. Anthony Brown is that can play in the slot outside guy. You know, that means you can bring Cheeto on the inside, Byron on the inside. There's so much flexibility in that secondary. I'm so excited for it. And the last thing on this defense is those linebackers need to stay healthy. If we lose Sean Lee for another extended period of time, the, the hope is that LVE can be that guy that steps in and plays those plays those downs and get ready to go. On offense, like I said, Dak, it's a huge year for him. He'll decide if he's our franchise quarterback or not. Um, obviously, I'm expecting Zeke to go for 15, 1,600 yards in the league in rushing. Uh, and then on the outside, I like I said, I don't think one guy's going to dominate targets here. I think that we're going to see about three or four different guys with 50 catches this year. No guy over 1,000 yards, just a bunch of guys with 50 catches, 700, 800 yards receiving, 600 yards receiving, somewhere around there. And I'm cool with that as long as we're winning games. Um, it's a huge year for Jason Garrett. I think the, I think... I think Rod Marinelli might have the safest job of all the coordinators. I think Linehan is on the bubble. It's up to him to be to be creative um, this offseason. Introduce that Dak friendly offense. You know, he's, he got Dez out of town. He got Switzer out of town. He's got all the guys that he wants now, apparently. So it's up to him to be creative. Get that speed on the field. Get Dak comfortable. As long as our offensive line stays healthy. And the good thing is, with Connor Williams, is you can move him to left tackle if Tyron's neck and back aren't feeling well. Um... You know, instead of having to go with Chad Green. So, Connor Williams offers position flexibility as well. So, you know, that's another good thing. Um, so, here's to our season. I know it is only May, and I'm excited. I mean, I'm always excited for Cowboys football. Um, even though we let Dez go. But that's besides the point. Um, I'm excited for Cowboys season. I can't wait to start talking more Cowboys. I think I'm going to start talking about uh, some baseball things. Um, and maybe get into the Lakers as we get closer to free agency. So thanks for checking this video out and I'm out. Peace guys.